Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a stamp from start to finish. So no template used. First thing you're going to do is create a new file. Um, you want to make it 97 by 57 pixels. Make sure the background is transparent. Um, Alright, once you have that, go ahead and zoom all the way in. So you can see the little grid lines. You're going to go over to your brush tool and select pencil. Make sure it's on one pixel. I'm just going to use black. Um, you're going to go three squares over. One, two, three. And then on the fourth one, you're going to draw a line. To um, make the line straight, you're going to use your shift key. You're going to do the same thing at the top. Oops. Alright, the next step, you're going to begin drawing tiny little triangles. You're going to not start on the very last one, though. You're going to go one over. And that's how you draw a triangle. So I'm just going to keep do that over and over again. Granted, you can do that the whole way, or you can do what I'm about to show you. But before we do that, we're going to fill our triangles with white. We're going to go to the clone stamp. You're going to make sure that the stamp you have selected is not one of these fuzzy ones, but a hard one. Then, um, if you try to use it without selecting your source first, it'll give you a little message that'll tell you how to do it. Mine says option click, but there's not an option button on Windows, I don't think so. Whatever it says to do. Um, you're going to define your point somewhere in the middle and you see it does that this just saves a sign all right and you can go over these last ones since they're not all the way opaque um and once you have that done you're going to do the same thing on the left side start one over You don't want to use the um, paint bucket tool on this because when you're working with small pixels, paint bucket tool doesn't really work. Kind of just does whatever it wants to. Now we're going to find a new point over here. In the middle somewhere. Alright, for the corners, what you're going to do is 
something like that. That way, whenever you zoom out for actual pixels, it, it doesn't look bad in the corner. Alright. And once we have that done, you can go ahead, you can just duplicate the layer. And you can flip it. Vertically and horizontally. Move it to where it belongs. Then you just want to um, go ahead and merge them. We'll go ahead and do the corners on these that don't have corners. Really, I guess you can do the corner however you want to do the corner. This is just the way that I like to do it. I think it looks best. Here, the e fill in with the white, also. Alright, once you have this done, you're going to open your GIF or whatever you want to put inside of the stamp. Okay, and once you open your file, you want to make sure that it is um, 8 pixels smaller than your stamp, which would be 89 by 49 pixels. So I already have it done, have a GIF, so I'm going to go ahead and select all the layers, select all the frames, set the backwards or whatever. Um, then we're gonna move it into then I'm gonna move it into here. I'd already say had it saved this while that happened. Um once you have it placed in the center of the square and um, then you're going to go and make frames from layers and you'll see it put your gif in there what you're going to do is make sure your stamp layer is selected and the frame is selected and match layer across frames and you can go ahead and delete that original one and you'll see they're all in there we'll play it it's a little fast so we'll Give it a 0.2 second delay. If you want to see this in its real size, this is what it looks like. Alright, and if you want to change anything like uh, the border color, you can always do a color overlay. You can make it all one color, you can make it all white, you can make it all black, you can add drop shadow. If you want to just make the stroke a different color, like red, like that, you'd probably use screen. You can make it a lighter gray. It's really all up to you, but whatever you save, you just want to make sure you do save for web and devices. make sure that the transparency is selected. Uh, usually I don't do dither. This makes the file size smaller. And there you go. That's how you make a stamp.